Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Tech Girl here, and we are here in the TGP studio, kind of, well, in my room, and we are here to record the IT Audio HDR7 Portable Field Recorder. So let's get started. Like I said, we're here to review this wonderful device uh, given to us for review by IKEAudio.com. And big shout out goes to them. Don't forget to check out their website. Check out their other products. So guys, don't forget to go check it out. Links will be in the description of the video for you guys. This device, what all can you do with this device? Well, let me give you a few samples. This is a guitar tuner. Didn't know that, did you? This is a voice recorder, which has two high-quality condenser microphones up top. The stereo is a condenser microphone, an omnidirectional three, no, it's 360 of recording, of rich quality recordings, which is a bonus for those speeches, and you just have it in your hand, just something like that. Let them talk. Let them talk into it. You don't have to go like this. Well, you can to get the best quality possible. You just hold it like this, or you just hold it like this. It really doesn't matter, because you pick it all up. You also have a line in, which is pretty awesome. So if you are recording a concert, or some, if you have a band, or you know a band, and you're allowed back in the studio or whatever, and their sound system they're playing on, you can their system board, their audio board, you can easily hook it up onto there and record straight from it so if you don't have enough memory on your hard drive of your computer or just don't want to put it there you can record it from here and just take it with you wherever you go this also allows you to output that audio too and also output it onto your headphones so if you have a recording you want to share with everyone to plug it into some speakers and you're ready to go sadly this device does not have speakers on it which I see as a downfall sadly this also has a mic in output onto your right side of your device and the bottom of that is your output level buttons so while you listen to something you can also turn it up or turn it down this also allows you to put in your headphones and listen to what your microphones are picking up which is really cool and down low you have your mic gain switch high low I like to keep it on high because I usually use this to record my classes you also have your USB the PC or you you just use the mini USB that came with the device and plug it in and then plug it into your computer and transfer all your recordings from the SD card that is included or the SD card you bought separately or had and just put it in there it does come with a one gigabyte SD card so that's pretty cool and you also have a USB output the USB output basically allows you to take a thumb drive and stick it into your device and use it as a recording uh, hard drive something like that a recording source so you can record yourself to your flash drive or to the SD card it depends what you want to use this is a one gigabyte uh, flash drive and one gigabyte SD card so now I have two gigabytes of space for recordings you also have a loop button on the front of your device, so if you want to loop your recordings, you can do so. You have a play, pause, record, and stop, and back button all right under your LCD screen. It isn't a big of an LCD screen, but it is actually a pretty good size. Then you have your menu and enter button, uh, which comes in handy, and also you have your recording level uh, will, and also your search will, so you can go through your recent recordings and also change the levels of your recordings as you're recording them. You also have a SD card or SHC card slot and also a tripod mount, just a regular tripod mount, also on the bottom of the device. You also have these little, uh, they're like little pinch uh, feet, I guess you would call them. So if you have it on the table, it'll sit up nice and neat. And you also have uh, those on the back, so if you have it on a table, it'll fit It'll just sit on there and it won't scratch up the back of your device, which is a very nice texture. It's not really fingerprint uh, proof, especially the front of it. It is fingerprint addicting, fingerprints everywhere, which isn't all that well, but it does look pretty nice. Uh, so on your left side, you have your DC input, which allows you to power the device. I only unbox it. I say it allows you to charge it. No, it allows you to power it. Uh, and then you also have uh, 
your power switch on and off and now it's on you have your iKey audio little logo there you also have your input gain for your microphones um, I believe well on screen it'll tell you all the uh, stats on that the input gain the gain on the back of the device you have your battery cover and once you remove that you see your batteries right now I'm using the batteries that they come with it which right now are doing pretty well and most likely I will replace them with rechargeable batteries just so I keep that green factor but overall after using this device for about a week four days I have to say I am truly impressed with the device not only can you record from the device but you can record onto the device you also can change your output levels you also can change your formats which I didn't get to you can change your formats from mp3 or AAC as well as a WAV or AIFF and I also have this uh, stats on screen also those that want to know that and I'm telling you guys there's you probably can't get anything as great as this. So if you have about $150 to spend on an awesome device such as this one, I say go for it. I am impressed with it. And if I actually had to buy a portable recorder, because I know we all use our cell phones to record classes, especially those two hour long classes. If you have two hour long classes like I do, I mean, you don't listen to everything. You kind of tune in and out of everything. And you don't always take notes. Uh, notes are another thing. This comes in handy for, for those who don't like to take notes uh, users. This also will come in handy. It helps you with almost anything that has to do with someone speaking or listening to music. So you can just easily play it back. And I have to give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars from the, uh, well, why well, guess a four and a half and not a complete five? Because you might be saying, oh, it's a perfect device. I wish it did come with a carrying case. It came with everything you needed except for a carrying case. It came with the batteries. It came with the SD card, but no carrying case. And the microphone is exposed, so it can easily break. But it is the perfect size. It's, not, it's about the same uh, width of an iPod or a Blackberry Storm. The height is about a... You'll see, I'm not exact, it's about an inch and a half bigger than the iPod Touch, and it's quite thick, it's, I would give it an uh, inch thickness, to be honest, and it's actually a comfortable fit right into your hand, you just grip onto it, but I have to say, if anyone's looking, anyone out there is looking for a pretty good device to use on the go, portable film recorder, then I would definitely say go with the iKey Audio HDR7. They get a four and a half out of five, like I said. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments, your concerns, your feedback down below in the comments box down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this video. Don't forget to thumbs it up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you dislike it. And don't forget to go check out iKeyAudio.com and a big thanks to them for sending this product my way for you, for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Peace.